getting safely back to school as the debate grows about in-person learning. But what if some students need to be in the classroom? New this morning, ABC 15's Carla Navarrete takes us into a pre-K classroom where safety measures are first and foremost. And sadly, it looks very different during this COVID-19 era. What color are you going to use next? We're doing what we can. You know, we're doing the best we can. Throughout her 26 year teaching career, Elsie Nicholson has dedicated her passion to the special needs preschool classroom. This is what I know. This is where I want to be. And I'm glad the kids are back. Yes, the kids are back. But as you can see, this isn't the normal 12 to 15 kids Elsie is used to having. Normally they come four days a week, um, two and a half hours a day. Now they're coming two days a week for two and a half hours a day. The reduced class size, no sharing of crayons or toys, and constantly washing hands are just some of the ways to keep COVID-19 out of her classroom. But they're also three and four and they need that social interaction. So you kind of have to find the, the line that works. That's a pentagon. Some of the three to four year olds who attend her class need services that just cannot be done on a screen. When you're in person, you can do things on the fly, like you see that this child isn't getting it, so you figure out a different way to teach them. When they're in front of the computer, it's hard to get that right. personal, in-person, one-to-one touch. Many of her kids have sensory needs that only in-person interaction can help detect and work on. At Chandler Unified, roughly 5,000 students in K-12 through take part in special education. Just over 450 students came in last week alone uh, for some of these service sessions that we're providing district wide. If there is one good thing that COVID-19 has brought to Elsie's classroom, she says it's that one-on-one -on -one student to teacher ratio. So even though they're only coming half the time, they are getting more attention just because we have more time. And after she's done with these kids, she will prepare for her There's virtual us. classroom, servicing the rest of the group that is still learning from home. She shares this message with parents. Just try to give everybody grace because teachers want to be back in the classroom. That's where we want to be, but we also want to be safe and keep our families safe. In Chandler, Carla Navarrete, ABC 15, Arizona. Yeah, I like that grace. I think it goes a long way. Well, tonight, Mesa.